One of the things that I focus on is the notion that preventive medicine mentality needs to be brought to the arena of brain-related disorders. We talk about heart disease and preventing that. It's now time to talk about how we can prevent brain disorders. Can Parkinson's, for example, be prevented? The answer is yes. Parkinson's may well be related to some things that we are exposed to in the environment. Let's take a look at this recent study. This study, published in the journal Neurology, a well-respected uh, journal in the field of neurology, looks at the risk of developing Parkinson's as a person may be exposed to various things like pesticides. And this is actually a review of more than, a, uh, rather, of 104 studies that encompasses more than 3,000 citations. And what did they find? That those individuals exposed to pesticides had a 58% increased risk of developing this disease and as I looked at the study, I found something called Mancozeb, and this was associated with a 118% increased risk of developing Parkinson's. And frankly, I wasn't sure what Mancozeb was, so I looked it up, and I found that Mancozeb happens to be something that's used in the experimental laboratory to create Parkinson's in primate models so that doctors can study Parkinson's disease. But what I also learned about Mancozeb is that it's widely available in garden stores and it's used as a fungicide that we are told to apply to our vegetable gardens. Now think about it. Here's an exposure that dramatically increases a person's risk for developing Parkinson's and it's a chemical that we're told to put on our food. That doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense. This is also a very powerful argument uh, for buying organic vegetables and reducing your exposure to pesticides. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter.